Hello, boys and girls. Today, we will be reading Clifford's First School Day. The author and illustrator of our story is Norman Bridwell. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this story. I'm Emily Elizabeth. Every day, I ride to school on my big red dog, Clifford. Clifford is way too big to go inside. Clifford hasn't been inside a school since he was a tiny puppy. When Clifford was a puppy, he was so small, his food bowl was bigger than he was, and he was the same size as his bouncy ball. One day, I took him for show and tell. Clifford walked really well on his leash. At school, all the kids wanted to pet my very tiny puppy. Miss Pearson, my teacher, liked him too, but she said it was time to begin our day. First, Miss Pearson put out the finger paint. I love finger painting. She put out green, red, yellow, and blue. Clifford got right up on the table. I used the color blue, a little boy was using green paint, and Clifford sniffed the yellow paint. And oh my, the jar tipped right over. Clifford found out that paint is very, very slippery. He slipped all over the paper. Miss Pearson held up Clifford's painting and said he was a very good artist. He made a beautiful yellow picture. We couldn't leave Clifford covered with paint, so Miss Pearson thought that some water play might be a good way to get him clean. My friend Tim made a boat out of a milk carton. Clifford was a perfect captain for the boat. But Captain Clifford decided to climb the mast to look around. And oh no, he tipped right over into the water. And that's how we got the paint off of him. Miss Pearson dried him off with a blue towel. She said we were going to make cookies next and Clifford could watch. That would keep him out of trouble. Miss Pearson rolled out the cookie dough and Clifford got curious about the bag of flour. And oops, Clifford tipped over the bag of flour and fell to the floor. Poor Clifford made another big mess. Miss Pearson said it might be a good idea for Clifford to play outside, so we all went out to the playground. I thought Clifford would enjoy the slide, so I carried him up with me. But before we could go down together, he wiggled out of my hands and went straight down the slide all by himself. Clifford flew off the end of the slide and landed in the sandbox. When Clifford landed in the sandbox, he smushed the sandcastle that our friend was making so we helped him rebuild it. We made Clifford the king of the castle. He loved that. After we played on the playground, it was time for lunch. I shared my sandwich and dessert with Clifford. Clifford gobbled his sandwich right up, but he didn't know how to eat the dessert. Poor Clifford chased the wiggly cubes of jello all over the floor. The other kids thought it was pretty funny. Miss Pearson said it was time for Clifford to go home and have a real lunch. She told me to bring him back to school when he was a little bit bigger. She should see him now. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this reading of Clifford's first school day. If you would like to add this book to your collection, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any uploads that I add. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon in a couple of days with a new read aloud. Bye-bye!